Every time we go fishing, we always bring our ruler. Cause if that fish is big enough, we put him in our cooler. Take it home for lay him up real nice. Invite over some friends for a feast tonight. We in the cooler. I'm the host that brings the most. My wife and I fish Florida from coast to coast. We in the My cooler. kayak boat paddle board on land. We even working on our in the cooler fishing stand. We in the cooler. I'm the host that brings the most. My wife and I fish Florida from coast to coast. My kayak boat paddle board on land. We even working on our in the cooler fishing stand. We, we in the cooler. cooler. Welcome to In the Cooler, fishing show for the fish eater. I'm your host, Chris Davis. My beautiful co-host, Zephyr. She's in the checking in. Uh, we're here at Jetty Park on location this weekend. Two days, we are here camping here at Jetty Park. We got us a new camper, um, tiny camper. Let's check it out. It only sleeps two. There's only two of us. You can see I got my fishing poles in there. We got our stuff. We have an air conditioner back there. Nice couch that turns into a bed. Um, pretty cool honey. You pull out, have some shade. Got a rack on it. Um, in the back. Got a little kitchen area. We can do our little our thing. They go to co-host hanging out with us. It's a little windy out here this weekend, but we're gonna see if we can make it happen. Jetty Park camping in the cool. Alright, I'm heading down to the fishing area. It is windy today. Shout out to Canaveral. Uh, we got some jet skiers out here though. They're not letting the wind stop them. Out here on these rocks, fish these rocks for miles either way. We got a fishing pier all the way down here. I don't mean to rhyme, it just happens that way sometimes. But this is what it's gonna be today. We are not putting the kayak out there. It'll more than likely slam us into the rocks, give us a hell of a day. Nothing but a hard time. So I'm gonna walk it out, come down here and see if we can put some fish in the cooler. Right here at Jetty Park. Port Canaveral, Florida. Get down here, check this place out. I'll be here for the next two days bringing you all the all the extracurricular activities they have going on over here. This is also, if you ever gone to the Bahamas, got on the boat right here, takes you right out. Oh, so you get to see Carnival and all those guys. Hopefully we get to see a submarine come through here today. They do submarine testing out here all the time. In the cooler, Jetty Park. That's awesome right there. Be able to have a table, clean your fish, water, rinse off, clean off your equipment, but most importantly, get your fish dressed out. Jetty Park. A lot of spots to fish along this wall. Before I go up to the top, I think I'm just gonna hang out at the next bay up here. You got holes for your poles. You can put your poles down. This place is awesome. This place is awesome. Sea turtles everywhere. This is a great place to bring family. To my left. walking on the beach but yeah this is me this is me got my pin reel since it's so windy I'm using two three ounce weights system got my Plano box bait box gotta get a Plano gotta get yourself a Plano uh, and I got my old tackle box my old on land bait box. Frozen bait today in the pool. We're using sand fleas. I got mullet. I got sand fleas. And I 
of course I have shrimp. So got some other stuff back at the car, the campsite, but this is what I'm using right now. In my Plano box, I have a victory beer for later on in the day. It should be nice and warm by then. And then I got this Rapala premium ceramic knife. And I want to tell you something. This is the sharpest knife I've seen in a long time. It's 100% ceramic, but it is sharp as all outside. It does the job. Just one little slit. Got some surfers out here today. That's Paul, his brother. Pretty cool dynamic. Hanging out, surfing. Um, family decided not to come, so they came by themselves. They were already here. Paul is an employee of OBC. We are members of the OBC team, so shout out OBC. I got a little friend hovering above. Sees all this bait I got here. Let me go and put this away. Stop talking. Stop fishing. All right, like I said earlier, we're fishing the rocks. It's very windy. So, I did something I normally don't do. I put two weights on just to give me extra weight. Simple as that. I don't have a six ounce. But this lets me know I probably should get some six ounces and even some eight ounces. Probably. Um, I got wire leader, nice and long, nice and long leader. That way, if I catch a fish, he tries to get into these rocks. This leader will slide him, slide him right on through, keep him coasting. I'm using finger mullet right now. I'm gonna go in from the tail, spin it back. It seems to be holding pretty well. I took my I took my bait, my line, cast it well over that way because I know the current's blowing back. Um, that six ounces seem to be keeping me right here in this spot. And that's gonna be pretty good. That's gonna be a good spot in the cool. We all know where that's going. We all know where that's going. Bahamas Relief. And right. Water's deep, deep water. Mm, we got a sea turtle. They're everywhere out here. Decided to come down, get on this pier. See if I can make something happen up here. This is the Malcolm McClough Fish Pier. And they got rules. Fishing license is not required. No motorized vehicles, skateboards, scooters. No running or horse playing on pier. That's for adults too. No day off Florida. Saltwater fishing regulations, good conduct, sportsmanship, all that good stuff. All that good stuff. Let's see if we can make it happen. Catching snappers right here. Come in over here, get in on some of this action. All right, we got 
another sea turtle. Just hanging out. I got a sand flea on. Let's see if I can get started. This morning, um, the strong survived. We hung out there for the 30 40 minutes after that. Got a couple nibbles, but nothing that we could actually set. Uh, went swimming a little bit. That's in the cooler. When the fish aren't biting, we find something else to do that's exciting. So now we're going to hang out a little bit, maybe head down to John Canoes and um, get something to eat and maybe look at a little college football or something like that. Come back out and see if we can have a better opportunity this evening. Stay tight, stay tight, stay loose. All right, before we get out of here, go get some lunch. this side. Put the kayak on the top, no problem. No problem whatsoever. She's eight foot long. I think five foot wide. Five foot wide. Eight foot long, five foot wide. So I can sleep in here, no problem. Beautiful wife can sleep in here as well. Have an air condition. These are our pillows. This is our couch. It turns into a bed. We have storage area, hardwood flooring, plenty of power outlets, air conditioned unit, our water system back there, very simple. Um, more storage, hardwood flooring, and it's just an all around type little vehicle. We are now members of the camping community. This is our very first one, so we don't know a whole lot about it. So we're learning slowly but surely, but you can bet believe we get it together. Fish of the weekend here at Jetty Park. 
caught on a mullet. Let's see what we got. It's a little after seven, quarter after seven. I don't want to get caught in these rocks here. Oh, they got a steak ass catfish. zephyr has got a fish too. Let's keep the camera rolling. Doubled up. You got it? We're doubled up. Oh, you got a nice fish, sir. You got a nice fish. Everybody keeps saying this. These gaff tops can be eaten. But, uh, all depends on what you got here. But I got a nice little gaff top. First fish of the weekend. And we doubled up. Both caught on a mullet. We both got a couple stank ass catfish. Yours is bigger than mine. Just hold them right there. We'll get them off one by one. All right, day three here at Jetty Park. Zephyr's still back at the camper, sleeping. I had to get out here. The wind has died down considerably. It is nowhere close to where it was the last couple of days. So I'm gonna see if I can get out here, and see if my luck can change. Back on the pier, familiar spot. And people are already out getting after it. Quarter to seven in the morning. Pier's alive. Hey, how's it going? One thing about Jetty Park, you always get to see sea turtles. We got two right here. Those are just babies compared to some of the big ones that come through here. But this is their this is their area. This is where they roam. It's dragging my line right now, but this is where they roam. Beautiful morning. Fishing with squid right now and something's down there eating it up too. Get a better piece on it. Really cool. All right, that's gonna do it. Um, common sense is kicking in. We've been fighting this storm all weekend, camping, hanging out, having a good time, but it is not going to let up. This is the second day of rain. Haven't been able to put any fish in the cooler, but I enjoy the fun and time hanging out here at Jetty Park. I recommend it when it's not a storm in town. That's going to do it for this episode of fishing. Let's get back to the camper. Make sure everything's tied down. here likes it. All these guys with the big boys and big girl toys. They love the tiny camper. Made from the tiny camper company in Groveland, Florida. Give them a call. Check them out. They got some amazing um, tiny campers for all kinds of outdoor activities. Tell them in the cooler sent you. Let's get back here. Get hooked up and 
get back home. We got some we got some more stuff to do. Got some more fishing to do this week. It wasn't a really good fishing time out here because of the storm, because of the weather. But great time out and all. Cool. Jay Park. Alright, that's going to do it for this episode of Vid the Cooler. Thank you for hanging out with us here this weekend as we camp for the very first time in our new tiny camp. Uh, very awesome experience. We will be back out here. We knew it was a tropical storm coming, but we had already booked this. And because we had been dealing with Dorian, we didn't want to wait any longer. So we went ahead and came out anyway. We both hooked up last night at the same time. With our two new fishing poles on two snake-ass catfish. But we don't eat those, even though I heard they're very good. So stay tuned. Thank you for hanging out with us. Go to the website. Visit our website at www.inthecooler.tv. That's www.inthecooler.tv. And thanks for hanging out with us on the number one urban fishing show in the state of Florida. Fishing show for the fish eater. In the